Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is May 26th and it's a Tuesday. The month of May is about to end. Hopefully the month of June will be a month of healing and the rest of the year would be better and prosperous. So yeah. <laughs> So for today's video, I don't have anything to unbox, unfortunately, but I do want to talk about this skin condition that I have, which is quite common, and it is keratosis pilaris, or commonly known as chicken skin. So if you guys have the skin condition, if you want to know products that could help in improving your KP, then please keep on watching. Okay, so KP, keratosis pilaris, chicken skin, what is this skin condition? So according to the Mayo Clinic, this is a skin condition which causes dry, rough patches and tiny bumps on the skin as a result of the buildup of keratin which blocks the opening of hair follicles. Usually found on the upper arms, buttocks, thighs, and even on the cheeks. Now, the bumps do not cause discomfort, they're not itchy, but it does affect the confidence of the person. Since I got them, I stopped wearing sleeveless tops on a daily basis. I prefer wearing long sleeve tops or anything that would cover my arms. Because when people see the bumps, they always ask if I'm sick or if I have a disease. So the bumps made me feel self-conscious. Now, there's still no cure for this skin condition. It cannot be prevented. But a person with KB can use moisturizing products to lessen the burns of the bumps and the redness. This skin condition also usually disappears as a person ages, usually by the time they reach 30. So when did my KP start? I think I was about 10 years old when I noticed that I had bumps on the back of my arms. I thought that they were just prickly heat because my friends and I used to play a lot during lunch break, we would get all sweaty. So my parents bought me this Fison powder for prickly heat and I applied it on my arms daily but the bumps never disappeared. And so after a few weeks, my parents decided to have my arms checked by a dermatologist and I did not understand the skin condition that I had then but the doctor prescribed this Aven um, lotion and I was supposed to apply it twice a day, day and night and after about I think a month I did not notice any improvement and so when I finished the tube I just changed to a regular lotion because that Aven lotion was expensive. So fast forward to 2015, I noticed that the bumps were not that significant. People thought that I had freckles on my arms. But when I started working for an establishment that required uniforms, I noticed that the bumps were getting worse and my skin was turning a bit red or pinkish. I was worried so I decided to have my skin checked again by a different dermatologist and that was when I learned that I had keratosis pilaris. So this doctor prescribed a lotion. It's a locally made lotion that has glycolic acid. It was supposed to lessen the appearance of the bumps and the redness, but that did not really work. It did not lessen the bumps nor the redness. And so I did some research and I learned that there are certain ingredients that should be in your lotions or your body wash or whatever skincare products that you use for your KP. And these ingredients are glycolic acid, salicylic acid, lactic acid, AHAs, and BHA. So I look for products that contain these ingredients. And a lot of people with KP are raving about this lotion. It's called Amlectin Daily. They said that it's effective in minimizing the appearance of the bumps and the redness. And I just had to try it. And so I bought this Amlectin lotion. This is what it looks like. It's Amlakin Daily Alpha Hydroxy Therapy. So, it's a moisturizing body lotion which leaves dry skin soft and smooth, boosts healthy skin renewal, fragrance-free, non-greasy, and deeply moisturizes. It's also dermatologist-recommended, clinically proven HA, and it's 567 grams. I think I bought this for 600 pesos. It was less than 700 pesos. It contains lactic acid which breaks down excess keratin on the skin. So I guess that's why this is supposed to be effective in treating pain. 
I've been using it for more than a week. I use it um, before going to bed and I did notice that the redness lessened. The bumps are still there but they're not as significant as before. The skin still feels a bit dry. So I guess the only thing I don't like about this product is that it doesn't smell good. I mean, if you're used to lotions that smell like fruits or flowers, I think you're not going to like the smell of this one because it smells like topical medicine. <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't smell good. Another product that I use is this Betadine body wash. This contains glycerin which moisturizes the skin and lactic acid and salicylic acid. Very important ingredients when you have cake. Another product that I use is this Foster X HA BHA Clarifying Toner. I use this on my thighs because bumps started to appear when I had my legs waxed. So this helps in getting rid of the bumps but there's still some discoloration and some redness. So same with Amlactin, I use this once a day before going to bed because in the morning I prefer to use regular lotion to moisturize my skin. So that's it guys for today's video. I hope you learned a thing or two. I hope that this video was useful especially for those who have KP. Do consider these products and if you're also struggling with KP, please do share your story. Let's help each other in treating the skin condition. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!